All right, so this video is going to be an introduction to Taylor and McLaurin series. Now, why are we learning another type of series here? Well, the Taylor and McLaurin series are going to allow us to describe more functions as a series, okay? We're gonna be able to describe more functions as a power series, and that is what the Taylor and McLaurin series are allowing us to do, okay? So, we're going to start off here. Let's suppose that F has a power series representation at A, okay? And we're gonna describe, uh, or we're gonna say F of X is equal to the general power series formula here, the sum from N equals zero to infinity of C sub N times X minus A to the nth power. <clears throat> now what we're gonna try to do here is describe this C sub N in terms of our derivative. Okay, we're gonna describe it in terms of our derivative and that is going to give us what the, the Taylor series actually is. So let's do that, okay? Well, f of x, we're gonna write our terms out here. f of x is gonna be equal to, according to this summation here, c sub zero plus c sub one times x minus a plus c sub two times x minus a squared plus c sub three times x minus a to the third power and we'll do one more here, plus c sub 4 times x minus a to the fourth power. And we also want to do our nth term, okay? It's going to be c sub n times x minus a to the nth term, or so nth power. And we're going to go on and on and on. Okay, so what if we take a derivative here? <clears throat> if we take a derivative, well, we our constant goes away, that becomes zero, right? We have a c sub one plus two times c sub two times x minus a to the first power plus a three times c sub three to the, uh, sorry, times x minus a to the second power plus four times c sub four times x minus a to the third power plus, well, now it's gonna be n times c sub n times x minus a to the n minus one power. And of course, it's gonna go on and on after that because n is not our last term. So, let's take another derivative here. Okay, we're gonna be taking a lot of derivatives. Here's our second derivative. Well, we're gonna to try to see a pattern here, okay? Because eventually, we're gonna to try to describe our nth derivative. Okay, we're gonna to try to describe our nth derivative. So we gotta see a pattern here. And to do that, well, <clears throat> The c sub 1 obviously goes away. But this 2 is going to be multiplied by the 1 in the exponent of this x minus a. So this is really the same thing as 2 times 1 times c sub 2. Okay? Now we're going to have plus a 3 times 2, write that 2 right there, uh, times c sub 3 times x minus a. Next we'll have plus a 4 times 3 times c sub four times x minus a to the second power plus, this is now a n times n minus one times c sub n times x minus a to the n minus two power. Okay, let's take a third derivative here just to help us really see this pattern, okay? Th this third derivative is really gonna hit it home. Now we take our third derivative here, this is a constant, so it goes to zero. Here we have a three times two times one times c sub three. Our next term is gonna be a four times three times two times c sub four times x minus a. Okay, and let's do our nth terms, okay, or our n stuff, we'll end up with n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times c sub n times x minus a to the n minus 3. Okay, so here, here's the question. What's going to happen when we take our nth derivative? What's going to happen when we take our nth derivative? Well, you see here that everything before our c sub n is going to become a constant and go to zero, okay? You can even see here that c sub three is a constant with our 
third derivative, c sub 2 is a constant with our second derivative, so c sub, or sorry, um, yeah, c sub n will be a constant with our nth derivative, okay? So what is going to happen there? Well, you can see here that this, this coefficient in front of c sub n is going to be, well, you see here for, for our first derivative, we have 1 times c sub 1, okay? For our double prime of f, we have 2 times 1 as our coefficient. For our third derivative, we have uh, 3 times 2 times 1 times c sub 3. Now, we can rewrite this as 3 factorial times c sub 3. We can rewrite this as 2 factorial times c sub 2. That's why I wanted you to see the pattern here. Okay, so we're, we're basically having a factorial. We have one factorial there. So for our first derivative, we have one factorial. Second derivative, we have two factorial. And for our third derivative, we have three factorial. So for our nth derivative, we'll have n factorial. Okay. Now, of course, we'll bring down our c sub n. That stays throughout all our derivatives. And we'll have an x minus a to the, and remember I said this is a constant. You're going to see why in a second. Because we're going to have an n minus n here. Okay. It's going to be an n minus n, which is just going to be the zero power, and that will make the x minus a go away. So we're just left with n factorial times c sub n. But remember, like I said, these terms are going to go on and on and on. So it's going to be this plus more stuff. But here's, here's the deal. What if you... If, you're center, if you want to center this by setting x equal to a, okay? So let's let x equal a here. If we let x equal to a, well, now we're going to get the nth derivative at a. The, the, all right, so, so how you actually say this is the nth derivative of f at a, okay? It's not, it's not f to the nth power of a, okay? That's not how it goes. So the nth derivative of f at a is going to equal n factorial times c sub n. Now notice that there's not going to be any more terms coming after this. Why? Because every single term after this is going to have an x minus a. When you let x equal a, you're going to have an a minus a, which is of course going to be zero and make all the terms after this n factorial times c sub n, it's going to make it zero. Okay. So that's going to be all that your nth derivative of f at a actually is. Now here's the deal. Why were we even doing this in the first place? Why were we taking derivatives? Well, I said that we wanted to express the c sub n in terms of our derivative. Well, our c sub n is right here. Our derivative is right here. So let's get c sub n by itself. We get that c sub n is equal to the nth derivative of f at a over n factorial. This is what we're going to now plug in to this series right here to get our Taylor series. So let's plug this in. Well, we now have that f of x is equal to the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of the nth derivative of f at a over n factorial times x minus a to the nth power, okay? This right here, this right here is called the Taylor series, okay? So this right here, this, this Taylor series is going to allow us to describe more, to, to represent more functions as power series, okay? So that's what's nice about this Taylor series here. Now, here's how we get to the Maclaurin series, okay? All we have to do is let a, okay, let a equal zero, and that's going to give you the Maclaurin series. So there's your Maclaurin series. Now you have the sum from n equals zero to infinity of the nth derivative at zero over n factorial times x to the nth power. Okay, you can see here, we just plugged in a equals zero. So we have a zero here, and we had a x minus zero, which is just x to the n. Okay, 
So, there you go. You have your Taylor series and your McLaurin series. Now, this video is probably going to get a little bit too long if I try to give you an example of expressing a function as a Taylor series. So what I'm going to do is kind of introduce you to that. I'm going to make this kind of like a two-parter. So I'm going to introduce you to that in the next video. Okay, so I will see you then. So if this video helped you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe by clicking my icon in the top left. You can also view the playlist for sequences and series and the next video in the series. Lastly, if these videos are really helping you and you would like to consider supporting me, I have my Patreon linked in the description down below, along with some other pretty cool links that you should definitely check out. See you soon!